This is Oklahoma's own News 9. Our top story here at 430. The Oklahoma Highway Patrol is raising awareness on a growing issue. We're talking about human trafficking. News 9's Erica Lee rode along with the trooper to see how they are keeping Oklahoma drivers educated and safe. Truck and other commercial vehicle drivers are the eyes and ears of the road. They spend more time on the road and at truck stops than anyone else and can make a huge difference in detecting suspicious activity and saving lives. A lot of your overroad guys, I mean, they're going to spend 60, 70 hours a week driving and all over the country. They're in and out of different truck stops, so they're seeing a whole, whole lot more area than we are on a typical day. That's why Truckers Against Trafficking and OHP started this outreach program as a way to educate and stop human trafficking. Troopers are spending this week going in and out of truck stops and other places that human trafficking potentially takes place, stopping drivers and telling them about warning signs to look for. We're stopping as many trucks as we can, and we're doing commercial vehicle inspections on them. And then at the end, we'll give them a pamphlet, kind of go over the pamphlet and explain some of the signs to look for. Troopers say some of the red flags to look for include restricted communication, a person not being allowed to speak for themselves, and a vehicle dropping someone off at a truck and picking them up 15 to 20 minutes later. OHP says trafficking happens most frequently in truck stops, motels, hotels, and bars, but it could happen anywhere. The hope is that they'll see something, be able to make a phone call, and hopefully the people will be there and we can come out there and intercept them and rescue the people who are being trafficked and hopefully file charges on the people who are trafficking them. While the initiative is only this week, it's always important to be alert to the potential dangers on the road and to stay vigilant 365 days a year. Reporting in Oklahoma City, Erica Lee, Oklahoma Zone, News 9.